Hey guys, on to this video, I'm going to teach you how to update to the latest iOS. So first of all, we have to go into our settings. In our settings, I want you guys to do a backup. So manually backup your iPad. Um, whichever iPad you guys have, whether it's a mini, Air or Pro, it's the same way to update it and back it up. So remember, back it up first. This is just in case something goes wrong, you guys can always restore it and that's it. Okay, so uh, once you guys made your backup, go into general. Under general, you guys will see the second option where it says software update. Just tap on there and right away, this should look for the updates. So right now, the latest one is 10.3.3. So what does this do? It has a few bug fixes, but it's nothing too huge. So if you're already on iOS 10.3.2, then this will only take you guys maximum 10 minutes on average five minutes so we're gonna tap on the download install now if you guys have a password set up you guys will have to put it in if you don't it's gonna start downloading right away the first step will be to download the iOS update and then it's gonna install so at least have 50% of your battery I always recommend having your iPad iPhone iPod touch hooked up to some electricity when you're making any updates. That's because if it runs out of battery when you're downloading, nothing major will happen. However, when it's actually installing the iOS on your iPad and it runs out of battery or something happens, um, you guys will have to restore it. And nobody likes to restore, it just takes a bunch of time. Um, and that's actually one of the reasons why I told you guys to make that backup. First, if you have your backup, then you don't have to worry about anything. You guys can restore it and everything's gonna come up again. Even um, for a lot of apps, wherever you guys left off uh, in a game, for example, in level 10, um, once you guys install the, restore the whole thing, you guys will see that when, when you go back to that app, you guys will still be in level 10. For example, you guys won't lose any pictures or anything like that as long as you you guys make that backup if you guys don't have any more space to make backup then don't worry about it you guys can always hook it up to your computer and make the backup using itunes itunes is free for pc and mac so don't worry about that and uh, you have pretty much unlimited gigs there so you don't have to worry about that icloud 5 gig limit however i do have a separate video where it shows you how to manage those 5 gigs and get the most out of it um we have to free up space so that's in my channel if you guys are really worried about that space but uh there's a really really simple solution that i have in another video that's another time anyways uh once this downloads it's gonna tell me that i can install so i will be able to tap on install once i tap on uninstall um it's just gonna turn off it's gonna reset black screen white screen right away apple logo and a loading bar once the loading bar is done then that's it it's just gonna restart i'm gonna see everything back um in this case i won't have to put in my password again or anything like that um that's it i mean it's a really simple update you guys will see that it will not take you more than 10 minutes however obviously i'm not gonna make this 10 minutes right um right now for me it is taking a little bit longer in order to download but that's because i'm doing a lot of stuff on my internet so it's the slowest that it can get right now and that's why it's taking a couple minutes to actually even download the ios however once it's done you guys will see that this should be the longest that it should take you um a lot of you have really fast internet and if you're not doing anything else then you don't have to really worry about it so uh, apart from that, just make sure to do that backup, make sure to have 50% of your battery at least, plug into some electricity, and that's it for this video tutorial. I can't really show you the black screen, the resetting, because the whole screen recording right now will just stop. So right now it's telling me to install now, that's what I'm going to do. I just described what's going to happen, and that's about it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here below in the comments area, and don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.